that a lot of neurologists or, or clinical practitioners are not really aware that it is possible to recover vision after stroke. It's very different, for instance, from people who suffer a stroke that affects motor cortex and who end up paralyzed or having motor problems. Those people are routinely sent to physical rehabilitation. People who have a stroke affecting the visual cortex are usually sent home and told that there's nothing that can be done for them. The patients report such deep blindness affecting all aspects of vision, whether it's color vision or their ability to see shapes or recognize faces, everything is affected following such a stroke. And I think that that probably was one of the reasons that scientists were not too sure which way to even begin retraining such a situation. They are, for all intents and purposes, blind in about half, sometimes a quarter, but oftentimes uh, up to half of their visual field in each eye. So that means that within that visual field or within that visual deficit, they are unable to consciously perceive anything. They lose the ability to drive. Um, they have problems navigating. They have problems walking around in unfamiliar, crowded circumstances. Um, they have problems reading and following a line of text. So um, this is extremely devastating to many fairly critical aspects of our everyday life. I was a little surprised by the results. We, uh, honestly, when we started the study, we weren't too sure what to expect because of the current dogma that, in fact, you can't retrain vision after um, after a stroke. But there were enough indicators in our scientific studies um, that we've been, we've been doing over the last many years that, in fact, visual recovery should be possible after an insult to the adult brain. And so, in some ways, we were surprised and very pleased to see that you could do this in our patients. As their vision improves, they feel more confident to go out in unfamiliar places or in crowded places and get around and not lose their way, not bump into things. They also feel a little more confident about driving, which is, a, which is also a good thing. And, um, and when the improvement is sufficiently large, uh, some of our patients have actually managed to legally regain their driver's licenses, which means a lot to them. So, so the message is that um, if you have a stroke, there is something that can be done if you're willing to work hard at it. There's a lot more hope. <laughs>